Hi guys, it's Rich Soderquist, Certified Master Instructor for Soldering. Want to know how I've been using these Custom Deluxe Helping Hands tools all these years for keeping my soldering straight? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to build one as we unbox the MZ-101B Helping Hand with Magnifying Glass. Take a look, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This little tool can really add to your soldering enjoyment. It's also good for jewelry and working on small parts. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. All right, you can buy one of these for under 10 bucks on eBay. The trick is getting them together. They've got little clamps that kind of hold the, the bases together. You'll just have to work at it. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to show you a soldering demo on it. These can be a real pain to get set up once you get it tightened though on its base. <clears throat> they can be really helpful. It can also be really nice for looking at stuff small items give you something to look at and see if you've got a break in them and they can be adjusted pretty well They tighten these down a lot for shipment. So sometimes you have to loosen them up pretty good to get them to move. You can look down at a circuit board. adjust them how you think would work good for you. to adjust some of this stuff. Now they're inexpensive but they work well. Now usually I'll use liquid flux. I'm just using a little paste flux here. I'm just going to use a little bit of this paste. I'm going to demonstrate hand tinning of a wire. I've already put a little bit of flux on it. Now you can just run it up and down, add just a little bit to it. That makes for a nice joint. You 
You always want to make sure you're adding some flux to it. Now if we were adding this to a terminal we would probably cut it and then bend it. But that's hand tinning of a wire. Just as a demonstration for this new unit. We'll get into that in more detail in a future video. So far I like this little setup. It's not a bad little unit.